Everyone seems to be into business these days because, let's be honest, the world is becoming a financial challenge these days and we're looking for more options to make money. If you are into business, you have to know one of the three most important financial statements of a business and that's cash flow statement. Even the Oracle of Omaha, Warren Buffett, the most successful investor of 20th century, uses financial statements to his investments. So, if you want to know more, keep on watching and let's get into it. Let's start with the basics. Understanding the basics of a cash flow statement. The cash flow statement is a financial statement that gives you an understanding of the company's cash flow during a specific accounting period. This financial statement illustrates the cash that is flowing in and out of the business. It helps you paint a picture how much money is spent on your business activities such as operations, investments, and finance. Cash flow statement helps business determine how well they perform in the long and short term. As we want to see positive cash flow on the report instead of seeing the negatives, if it's in the money, then it's good news. This serves as a financial history to make better investment decision. You can tell if they are making money and know if the organization is serious in making it long in the business. As the saying goes, you are only good as your last performance. Examining cash flow statements. Investigating cash flow statements allows you to forecast future sales and expenses. This forecast can help your organization prepare ahead on how much liquidity you need to run the business or should it be used for future developments. Did you know that one of the biggest online commerce, Alibaba, is not making any money within the first three years and bankruptcy is knocking on their door in the next 18 months if they fail to become a success? Without the aid of these financial statements, it would be difficult for any organization to determine their financial grounds whether they are barely making it or they are slowly fading away from business. With your ability to analyze cash flow statement, you can tell whether an organization is performing great or not as this reveals the adjustments in accounting elements such as assets, liabilities, and equity. Getting insights from financial data can greatly benefit your organization as it allows your team to see into the future, to make a reflection and determine what needs to be done or re-strategize for better business outcomes. Structure of the cash flow statement The three sections of a cash flow statement Cash flow from operating activities, cash flow from investing activities, cash flow from financing activities. The cash flow statement is structured into three sections namely CFO or cash flow from operations, CFI or cash flow from investing, and CFF or cash flow from financing. Cash flow from operating activities are cash that resulted from its business activities such as sales from products and services. Operating activities is divided into two parts in the cash flow statements and they are indirect method and direct method which we'll discuss in a while. On the other hand, cash flow from investing comes from buying or getting rid of physical assets like properties, machineries, and equipment. Investing activities also includes but not limited to business acquisitions and securities such as stocks and bonds. This section may show a negative cash flow, but it may just mean that the company is putting large volume of money to the long-term developments and growth as they are investing. Last but not the least is the cash flow from financing activities. CFF is the cash activities among individuals or parties such as the investors, creditors, owners, and other firms. This section just illustrates how funds are being managed in terms of financial transactions such as debt, equity, and dividends. Cash flow statement interpretation. To give you a better understanding of what we are talking about, here is an example of what a cash flow statement would look like. This CFS is from an imaginary company, let's call them Mangos. Here we can see that the statement is divided into three sections which are operating, investing, and financing activities. On top of the statement, it tells that the company started with cash amounting to $1 billion. In operating activities, the company has generated $7,077,000. In investing activities, you can see that it's negative because the company have spent $3 million in terms of properties, plant, and equipment while in finance activities with a total of $25,000. Adding the net cash flow is very easy. You just have to sum the total of the three sections. In our case, it's a positive cash flow amounting to $4,102,000 plus the previous cash flow last year that totals to $1,004,102,000. That means the company has enough money to keep on doing the business operating. The difference between direct and indirect cash flow statements. Calculating cash flow statement comes in two methods, the direct and indirect cash flow method. So, what are they? Let's find out. Direct cash flow method uses all the instances of cash that are received and paid out to customers, sales, and capital expenditures except non-cash transactions as they are put outside the equation. All of these are calculated to get the cash flow. This gives you more clarity of your liquidity. However, this kind of method is rarely used and not very popular as the time being consumed to get the calculations done is quite longer. While indirect method comes from the organization's net income, cash and non-cash operating activities, investing activities, and financial activities. These activities are then 
tabulated to get the final cash balance. Indirect method is mostly used and popular method in calculating cash flow. However, it doesn't give enough details as the direct method so there could be some data you're missing out and you're not making the right analysis for your business. Before we continue with our topic, I wanted to take a moment to share with you my latest NFT art collection, inspired by Impressionism and available for a limited time only on OpenSea. I was inspired by the movement of Impressionism, which is known for its unique use of light, color, and movement that evokes a strong emotion. The Impressionist painter's approach is to capture the feeling of a moment rather than just depict it, and I wanted to bring that same sense of emotion and immediacy to these digital arts. Impressionism also reflects the fast-paced, digital world we are living in today, where things are constantly changing and the need to capture the present moment is crucial. This is why I believe Impressionism is still relevant in this generation. I am excited to offer my NFTs as a limited time opportunity for collectors. Each NFT is a digital representation of visually stunning artwork, inspired by the Impressionism movement, while they are verified on the blockchain and unique. I hope they will bring joy and a connection to art for the individual who owns it. They can be displayed on a digital wallet or in a virtual gallery, and it would be an honor to have my NFTs be a part of someone's collection. In addition to my NFTs, I also want to share with you my separate collection of digital art available on Gumroad. These are unique, high-quality digital products that I have carefully crafted to be not only visually stunning, but also to convey the same sense of emotion and immediacy as my NFTs. Each product is high quality and can be downloaded instantly after purchase. These digital arts are perfect for those who want to enjoy my art in a more traditional way and also to support my channel. You can find the link to my digital products in the description box below. So, whether you're a collector or just a lover of art, make sure to visit OpenSea or Gumroad and check out my NFTs and digital art collection. These are for sale and available for checkout. Thanks for your support and I hope you enjoy my NFTs as much as I enjoyed the creative process behind it. And now, back to our topic, comparing the indirect method to the direct method in cash flow statements. So, you might ask which one of the two methods is better. If we ask the experts from the International Accounting Standards Board or the IASB, their answer would be the direct method because the liquidity of receipts and payments are clearer compared to the other method and has the clarity required to be compliant to the guidelines and measures of widely used accounting standards. Meanwhile, on the other side of the table, we have financial analysts and accountants would say that they prefer indirect method because it gives them the bird's eye view making their tasks simpler by examining two of the most convenient sources, which is the income statement and balance sheet. With this data on their hand, it's now very straightforward to reconcile items as this gives better understanding of the financial statements. Indirect method is also preferred by investors as it's best suited for big companies that has large quantity of transactions. Monitoring cash flow. Managing cash flow varies from businesses. The way corporate giants handle their cash flow will differ to small businesses as they have the means to access resources and technologies that help them advance and build systems track the inflow and outflow of cash. In this day and age, where you have the option to do things manually or with the help of automation, I'd rather choose the later because time is of the essence. Businesses, especially the big ones, wouldn't like to put their resources to just waste time, effort, and money to outdated ways on how things are done. But if you are a small business owner, to track cash flow, you must gather and record all expense receipts, sales revenue, other income generated documents from operating the business and investments. If you prefer to manually track your cash flow, you may use spreadsheets. However, doing so may require you to manually enter all the data for monitoring but we are now living in the world of abundance and you have a choice to invest in a software application that can help you track cash flow. There are mobile applications or web-based applications to choose from that range from free or by subscription and I'll leave all the research on your hands so you can check it out. Understanding the components of cash and cash equivalents. You may see cash and cash equivalents as a single line item in the balance sheet and the first item under current assets. But what are the breakdowns? What is it composed of? Cash and cash equivalents are just all the cash and business assets that are readily available to convert into cash. You may tag any asset as a cash equivalent if the maturity date of your assets, and there's a very thin chance of fluctuation because of adjustments on interest rates when its maturity date comes. Maturity dates for cash equivalents are usually calculated within 90 days or less as they are short-term investment securities, but classification may vary depending per company policy which securities they consider as cash equivalent. We can break down cash from cash in savings and checking accounts, money orders, and bank draft while cash equivalents are from money market funds, treasury bills, government bonds, securities, and liquid investments with under three months maturity. The mechanics of a cash flow statement. No matter how profitable a company can be, they are not prone to failing, especially if they fail to manage their cash flow. That's why financial statements such as cash flow statement is a critical tool for companies and investors as this financial document support parties involved get the understanding to data that a company has. This way, a certain period of time can be observed to measure the performance of a company and conclude a forecast. 
Cash flow statement is derived from income statement and balance sheet, which means operation activities is obtained from the net earnings of income statement, while investing in finance activities sections are obtained from the balance sheet's various line items. Security and Exchange Commission also has rules to companies that are opening their stocks to trade publicly to be transparent with their financial statements. The constraints of a cash flow statement. We have heard the use and benefits of cash flow statement, but what about its underlying complications that can negatively affect analysis and business decision? As previously mentioned, we use cash flow to make forecasts, but cash is just a piece of the puzzle. Accountants estimating on this limited information can often give erroneous predictions. It doesn't mean what works today may work tomorrow. That's how unpredictable how money moves. Many external things can affect your cash flow such as market competition, government intervention, and the state of our financial system. With these factors that greatly affect the cash flow forecast, it's best practice not to hold to long-term forecasts as data will change throughout the time and what you're expecting a long time ago will not just match. Financial statements such as cash flow statement can be overly estimated that can be a reason for manipulation. Therefore, it's never a good interpretation how good a business is because good businesses build trust, value, and excellence, an indicator that can't be seen on paper. It doesn't matter what's your social status. You can be a student or an employee. Everyone should learn or at least be familiar how to analyze cash flow statement because money will always be part of our day-to-day -day lives and at some point in our lifetime. We will play the role of a business owner or an investor as cash flow statement is one of the critical financial document company generates that gives you a clear picture, insight, and solid understanding how is the company performing in the market and its financial welfare. Understanding cash flow statements is crucial for both business owners and investors alike. It provides a clear picture of a company's financial performance and welfare, allowing for better forecasting and decision making. A cash flow statement is composed of three sections, operating activities, investing activities, and financing activities. The direct method and indirect method are used to calculate the statement, with the direct method providing more clarity but being less commonly used, while the indirect method is simpler but may not provide as much detail. It is important to note that a company's cash flow can be affected by external factors such as market competition and government intervention, and therefore it is best to not rely too heavily on long-term forecasts. Ultimately, being familiar with cash flow statements and understanding how to analyze them is crucial in navigating the financial world and making informed decisions. If you guys enjoyed the video, please support my channel by smashing that notification bell icon so you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. And don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Be sure to check out my NFT art collection on OpenSea and my digital art on Gumroad so I can add a unique piece of art to your collection and to your life. That ends today's audio blog guys. This is Daniel Cloud. Thank you for watching and see you on our next one. Bye!